So this is a video to go along with a blog post that I just wrote on how you can audit your NetSuite customizations and configurations. By customizations I mean scripts and custom objects and things like enable features, accounting preferences and, and other settings that affect account functionality and which would be worth knowing about uh, should they change. So in this video I'll show you how you can use Bundlet to set up an automated sync of each of your NetSuite accounts. It will create a Git repository that will accumulate the results of every sync over time, essentially turning into a change log which you can use uh, as part of your audit requirements. And I'll also show you a new component which I've just released, which is a file explorer which can be used to conduct detailed analysis on the results of every sync you'll be able to view the files that changed uh, the, the difference from from one version to another you'll be able to compare files and also you can associate certain changes with who actually made the change and so this can all be done from this new file explorer view so over here of course I've configured Bundlet to to run on a schedule and you can see the first uh, syncs for this account have have come in you get a link to each pull request that was created right after the sync finished and of course here inside git you will see the files that changed and this is a great uh, archive of everything that's changing in the account from one uh, schedule sync to the other. You get version control, the ability to understand what a certain script was at a certain point in time or at the time of some event that requires investigation so on and so forth. So establishing version control is extremely important. So Bundle does that automatically for you. It will create a pull request to the repository that you link inside Bundlet and populate it with uh, every single change that is covered in the schedule sync scope, which you can configure to include as many of the objects and settings types as you see fit. So you get from a high level a summary of the movements that were picked up uh, in every sync. So this would be the files which were newly added. Uh, of course it picks up files which were removed, uh, which didn't change and which were modified. Usually it's the files which were modified that we're most interested in, but not always, since we might want to understand exactly what the sync is, is looking at, even though things didn't change. So bringing up this uh, new file explorer component, you'd be able to view the entire scope of the sync. You get the, the amount of time that has passed between one sync and the other. This should correspond to the frequency that you set up for the automated uh, job, but you also have the ability to, to sync on demand. So of course it, it might not always correspond to, to the frequency exactly. And here you can view all the all the files that were picked up. You get links to the scripts and objects in, in NetSuite. This is great if you, for example, want to look at the system notes for a given a script that was included in the sync. Um, sometimes f locating objects inside NetSuite can be quite tedious. You need to go to the respective menu item. You need to search by script ID possibly filter into different pages and so having everything here readily available uh, from one central view is, is quite handy. You have filters on every column that is presented in the grid. So for example, you could understand, okay, I've, I've attempted to fetch all these objects. Let's see what failed. So in this case, we have one object which failed. It was a saved search. The error is coming directly from SDF. This sometimes happens. So you know that, of course, this file was not 
included in the checks so this might warrant further investigation uh, you could filter on all the locked objects in the account now of course we know that the content for, for these locked objects is, is not accessible so it's unlikely that the content itself uh, would have changed but not always because there are certain um, there are certain parameters which could actually change but either way here you get a sense of what uh, objects form part of let's say managed bundles or, or suite apps that are being included in the sync and again you get the ability to to navigate to the locked objects uh, from that quick link so basically every column in the table is, fil is uh, filterable and you can also use it to understand the full spread of, of values uh, for every column which is also quite uh, which which could give you some interesting insight so if I were to just filter on the modified files here you can see that I had this client script which was modified selecting the file itself will give you the actual uh, difference so you can view okay what what changes uh, happened and you also have the ability to include audit trail data so this essentially would bundle it would attempt to tie the changes that were picked up to who authored them and to present you with that data in the table itself this is extremely useful because you can then for example start um, looking out for certain changes by a certain employee so let's say you you'd like to understand what changes a certain employee made within the this period of time in NetSuite of course you would need to fetch um, all kinds of system notes from from different sources every object type has its own uh, location for for retrieving uh, system node data but here once you enable the audit trail feature you could say search for a given employee and since we have the modified filter on then we know that there was this role which was modified and we get additional uh, audit level data so we can say okay there was this role it actually there was one permission which was uh, changed and here we we are adding a blame line to to the change which, which is essentially tying the change to to an employee you get the modified date the role that the employee used to make the change and so this is an extremely powerful view for um, for really uh, understanding what's what's changing inside the account and so that is that